Hey guys, welcome to the, this episode. Uh, we're going to be building a railroad crossing. So in some of my past videos you might have seen or mentioned that I have a, I've made a 1 14th scale, which is a 4 inch gauge uh, RC train. Um, it's, got, it's a completely one-off custom build. I haven't got the video out yet that talks about the train, but that will be coming soon. Uh, but the last meet I was at, I had the train set up and it was just a straight section of track and the train could go forward and backwards. And it was mentioned at the next show, I need to bring the entire loop so we can run the train around, but we got to have a crossing with lights and bells and, and crossing gate and all that. So I got home and I started designing the pieces and parts, you know, the, all the different brackets and stuff to make a, uh, a railroad crossing. Um, I designed in SketchUp a railroad crossing sign and the letters on this are actually 3D printed. And after that white layer, um, got printed and the, the letters are starting to print, I paused the print, swapped out from my white to black filament, and so the railroad crossing is not painted on, that's actually um, uh, 3D printed on, so that makes it a nice clean look. Uh, I also made a bracket to hold a small little micro servo. I've used these little servos in a number of different builds. And actually, if you look at a crossing gate, you see this box that the motor's mounted into on the on the crossing gate so like this will slide up in there and then I've got two arms actually I got a, uh, a little door for this back side that has the second axis for the crossing gate so this will kind of slide on there on and off and then I got 3d printed a little cap to hold that on there and I'll put a screw on that so the one side will go on on there and be able to go up and down then the other side the other arm will get a servo horn uh, glued and screwed to it and so it will basically be another uh, arm, crossing gate arm with a servo horn glued and screwed that will trim off the excess and so it can go on there and the servo can if I'm turning this, turn it the right way here the servo can run the crossing gate up and down Oop. so it will go kind of up and down like that um, all of these files, I'll go ahead and post a thank you verse and have a link in the description if you want to make one of your own railroad crossings. Now granted, you, if you don't have the train, you might not need the crossing, but uh, I'll post these anyways. But a crossing gate, obviously, or is going to have the gate. So I 3D printed a um, arm to go across, and then you go to the truck shop and you get some of the reflective tape. So I've just cut strips to put on here. At this point in time, I'm not putting LEDs on the arms. Uh, that may be something that's added at a later point in time, but uh, in this first go around, I'm not going to do that. Um, so actually, I've got the gate here put together. So you can see with the uh, the servo horn inside there, you can kind of see it in there. Got it glued down, um, and then I got a screw holding this in, and then the back side, like I said, just spitless on that. So it'll go through there, and then I can program using an Arduino to raise the arm up and down. Um, I am going to use infrared sensors so one sensor will detect the train when it detects movement it's going to raise up and then the second sensor on the other side will keep detecting movement as it's detecting movement it'll stay down the lights will be flashing and then as the first signal is clear and then the second signal is clear and they're both clear then this will raise back up and the lights will shut off. So uh, later on this video I'll be going over using an Arduino and kind of doing some programming. I will mention the the code I used in there. I found on a um, uh, like an HO scale railroading group or, for Arduino. Uh, so I can't take credit for all the coding. <laughs> when a guy has already made it, all you got to do is plug this in and drop it in. Uh, it's great. I did a few little modifications because uh, he used a relay board for the flashing lights and I'm just using the Arduino itself for the flashing lights. So this is kind of what it looks like. Um, this is actually a piece like 3 8 uh, brake line, just like, or a hydraulic line. I can't remember if it's hydraulic hose or brakes or whatever, but it's a, a small piece of 3 8 like, uh, I think it's like aluminum or steel, or whatever it is. Uh, so the base, it'll slide down there. Um, and I got holes drilled here, so I'm going to try to run as many wires down to the middle of the tube itself. It'll come out the bottom, and then the base, the wood I screw it to, I'll have a hole for, to, for my wires. Um, so that'll go in there. And then I have, actually this is upside down. So I have a hole here that is made for this. So I'll slide that down on there. 
and then I'll just put a single screw I drilled a hole in this so the screw will hold this in place and screw this in and then for the lights you know I needed a red amber uh, lens and so I was looking around and my dad actually mentioned he had a bunch of these little uh, trailer marker LEDs these are made for like a semi trailer if you want marker lights all down the side you drill a three quarter inch hole pop that in and wire it up and so this red amber LED was like perfect for what I'm using it for. So I just took one of my saws and starting cutting around uh, the lens, you know, just to take that top part of this lens off. So I just used a saw, cut around there, separated that so that I could pop this lens off. And then I 3D printed the shades, you know, that you would see one there at a normal crossing. And these will pop in here. And as I glue it together, it will, um, you know, have that nice kind of look of a crossing gate or the uh, lights at a crossing gate. And we'll have an alternating blinking LED in each one of these. So now for the, um, for holding the lights, I have a little kind of bracket I 3D printed that will slide over this. And it's obviously my holes are not going to lined up. I didn't get these lined up very well, so I got to re-drill uh, these holes. But I got that on there, and the wires can feed down through. And so I printed out some like little T's that I can just use some uh, quarter-inch plastic styrene for my tubing. And so I got to bring a piece of tubing out, then install a T, then tubing's over, and then I 3D printed these little housings to hold an LED light. So here is one of the halves uh, already glued together. Before I put them in there I'm going to actually spray paint all this gray so I don't have that white and gray look. But I'll run these inside down this tube and then feed that in there, glue that in, and then once it's all glued into place then I'll glue these lenses on the front. So, uh, and like I said the uh, railroad crossing sign will also slide on and then I have a little hole drilled in the back and so that will screw that, put a screw in there to hold that in place and then I 3D printed these little caps for the top. So the main part of the crossing gate is basically done. Um, like I said, I have, some glue, I have some painting to do, fixing some screw holes, you know, getting all this mounted uh, in the right spot. Uh, but the main part is done. I'm going to go ahead and put some paint on this. I'll finish putting all this together and glue those in there and I'll show you how it works. And then we'll also go into the Arduino a little bit. I still want to 3D print a uh, control box, sort of like a housing you would often see at a crossing gate that's going to hold the Arduino. And if I can find a little sound card to put like a little bell in there, I'm kind of looking forward to having a, a little bell in there. And then that's where the wires will come in for the infrared sensors to detect the train coming and going. So we'll pause this here and I'll go get some paint on this. And once it's on some paint on, I'll get these holes lined up and straightened out and we'll get all this put together. So we'll be right back. All right, so coming back here, I've got the um, all the parts painted. I got it slid on into the pole. I got everything kind of put together. And I also got each one of the LEDs ran to each pole. The wires are coming through the bottom of the base, up through the tube, and then out basically out this um, this kind of coupler thing to each light. I've got the sunshades and the lenses uh, glued into each one. So I'm really happy the way this turns out. Looks pretty scale. Um, there you can see. I also have this wired up to Arduino, and this is an Arduino Uno using two infrared sensors. The infrared sensors I will mount on each side of the crossing, oh, probably back a, a foot or two. So as the train approaches the crossing gate, the uh, sensor will go off and will start the flashing of the lights as well as bringing the servo down and bringing the gate down. I still need to tweak the program a little bit to try to bring this down a little bit slower. Um, I did use this code. Um, there's actually in the HO scale model, ra ma model railroading Facebook group for Arduino. There's already, um, no, I'm sorry, found on YouTube. Um, and I'll link 
uh, the video, where's my finger up? I'll put a link right up in your, uh, of that video. Um, the guy basically had all the coding. I modified it a little bit because he used uh, flasher relays. So the signal went to turn the flasher relay on and that flasher relay drove the LED lights. Since I only have basically two LEDs per uh, output, I just ran them both right through the Arduino. So I added a code to alternating flash. And so I've got the LEDs on both sides. So these two caddy corner are wired together and these two caddy corner are wired together. So when this one's flashing, this one's on, and then it alternates between the two. Um, I do need to make a stop for the base here because you'll notice as it gets at the bottom, it kind of does the whole jackrabbit thing because I have it set to move to a certain angle and then hold at that angle. And if it below, goes below it or above it, it kind of jumps a little bit. So I'm going to make a simple little stop that will bolt into here, and that will also hold this wire. So the idea is, let me uh, finish this cycle and get the uh, gaze to turn off. I don't know which infrared sensor I started on. second here there we go okay so the way the the way the program works is if it detects an infrared sensor thing here the flashing starts and the gate goes down it's expecting to continue to see both of these sensors going off so as I'm moving my finger over them they're lighting up imagining you know a train's going by then as the last car passes that last sensor you know this last sensor might be seeing readings and once the second sensor stops seeing readings the gates gonna go up same way if I come the other way. So if I, a signal comes and hits this sensor first, it's going to trigger the, the flashing to start and the gates go down. You know, imagine my fingers, just cars continuing to go past. And then once the final car goes past the second infrared sensor, I believe it's like a, like a five second delay. Then the thing will stop and the gate will go back up. Now these wires coming up here may be throwing issues with my uh, sensor. So the uh, might getting be, might be getting false readings on there so but overall the program works really well like i said i got to give credit to i can't remember the youtuber's name but all like i said i'll link it in the description so if you want the coding to do this yourself but um so i just have a micro servo that like we've been using um got a couple infrared sensors an arduino uno and um yeah not a whole lot in materials um you know when it's all said and done i'll probably have about 50 bucks in each crossing gate by the time I get the UNO, the sensors. But my plan is, is to have two of these um, crossing gates for my crossing. And then I still need to 3D print a box to mount the Arduino UNO in and some of the wiring. And I haven't found yet a sound card I like, but I want to get a sound card that has the dinging of the bells. Um, so as the flashing starts, it'll also signal to start the dinging of a, and it'll just be playing an audio clip of a bell dinging. Um, and I'll get, like I said, I'll make one of those gray boxes that you commonly see at a uh, crossing that houses all the electronics. So overall, I'm really happy with the way this is coming. Um, like I said, at some point in time, I'm going to put a video together of my 114th scale um, RC train. Um, you may have seen some stuff here and there, but I hope you enjoyed this. This is kind of a fun little project um, that I've been working on and wanting to do more with. So... Uh, at some point in time, we're going to have a show, an RC show, where I've got my full train, the full loop, and I'm hoping to have a two sets of railroad crossings. So I need to make four of these things total. So I'll have two complete setups with two sets of infrared sensors and two crossing gates and two sets of dingers. So again, I hope you enjoyed this. You guys have a good evening.